Hello World. I go by the name Mizonic. It's spelled M E Z O N I C. I'm a hip hop artist and producer. I also like to consider myself as an international artist because I do um, I do hip core music, which is uh, Liberian uh, rapping. I do uh, different styles of music, different styles of production. So um, I don't like to categorize myself as only a hip hop. So I'm mostly like an international artist. But I'm here to talk to you guys today about this topic that's been on my mind and I'm gonna do a series of these videos but this is actually my first one so if you're watching this uh, you're a lucky person because this is my very first one um, but um, the topic I'm gonna cover quickly is uh, building black wealth it's been heavy on my mind and you know it's like we got to ask ourselves how can we build black wealth uh, I know you could probably hear my accent I'm originally Liberian but I live in uh, Charlotte North Carolina so how do we build black wealth the first thing is we have to change the mindsets of the parents the reason I say that is because you have a lot of parents still living in that old mindset they basically want the kids to go to school after they graduate get a job well that's not really happening like it used to because a lot of people are going to school graduating and not finding jobs so the mindset of the parents have to change and one way we could achieve this is by the parents encouraging their young kids young kids at a at a at a young age of even five or six or seven it doesn't matter start encouraging your kids to be business owners entrepreneurs you have to do that because if you do that then you're you're already programming your kids for something great so you got to start encouraging your kids well Another question, another person might ask, well, how can I accomplish this? Well, first of all, nowadays, everything is online. So a kid could start with a small business of selling shoe strings. I'm just giving an example. And the parent could save up some money, help the kid get a website. You could go through GoDaddy. They're one of the cheapest, probably like $60 a year. For your domain name you might pay by fifteen dollars somewhere around there and that's nothing uh you you uh apply for a paypal account that's that's free you know have an email that's free and the kid starts selling shoestrings right online right online encouraging their friends you get your supply you you help your child get the first set of supplies and, and start selling shoestrings by the time this kid is about to graduate from high school this kid will already know or have even more products than just shoestrings selling it to the world and that's how you change the mindset and we could all start this now we don't have to wait because websites are cheap to start so that's one way you we, we have to do it the next way we have to build black wealth is by bridging the gap when I say bridging the gap so it's black people in the US like I'm originally Liberian I wasn't even born here but I'm living here if I go anywhere a white person sees me they think I'm American unless I tell them I'm, I'm from another country so first of all you have a lot of black immigrants from other parts of the world coming here you have to start trying to know what these other cultures are about and not only that you have to start traveling there's a group on Facebook and uh, this guy uh, Charles Tyler he encourages people to go to Brazil 
But I think it's all about traveling to different parts of the world, not only Brazil. So you have to start mingling with other people, other black people from different parts of the world and take a trip. Go visit Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, like all these African countries. I mean, it will be easier for you to go to a country that speaks English because then, you know, you could do a lot better in that country. You could speak to a lot of people and not just get only a tourist guide helping you out. If you go to Brazil where to speak Portuguese and you don't speak that, you're going to have a, a little bit of a difficult time because not everybody speaks English, but you will still get around. So the main thing is get your passport. If you're already out of college or even in high school, get your passport. Black people, get your passport and travel. Okay, so the next thing is... Yeah, so basically black people, we have to unite. We have to unite and uh, start to learn each other cultures. Like for instance, you might want to open a convenience store in the, in the US. That store might cost you $50,000 to open. You might not be able to get that $50,000 because it's a lot. You might have to go through a whole lot of red tape just to get that loan. Well. You could open the same type of store in like Liberia or Brazil or wherever else for half the price or even less than that. You might be able to open that store for $5,000 buying goods from Liberia, not even international goods. So you're going to have to travel. You're going to have to mingle with the people and you could start that same business out of out of pocket your own money now you don't you don't even have to go taking a loan for five grand and that's how you build black wealth um they have a lot of different industries in africa especially like nigeria is booming right now so that could be a good place to go and do some business um another thing is supporting black business supporting black businesses so if you know your friend or your or there's a couple of barber shops and whatever black businesses on your block or in your neighborhood every once in a while at least twice a week or sometimes three times a week try to show support for that business instead of going to walmart especially if you know they both have the same products i know sometimes the prices could be a little high and depending on your budget you might not want to overspend but that could be a way to support black business to keep the money flowing. Another thing is um, Christmas clubs. I've been doing this for about 12 years now. We have uh, several people that pay a certain amount of money a week. You know, for us, we do $20 a share. And you could do it with a bank. But again, if you do it with a regular bank, it's the same thing, you know, you're giving your money to that bank, they're gonna invest your money, but the the magic of a Christmas club is you're pulling money together. So we had we started out with the with the family, with my family, and sometimes on our peak years, I mean we saw like up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that whole year. Money that we invested and made interest from and gave our loans and that's how we put money together so you have to first of all start trusting people and I know some people might be interested in joining my Christmas club I'm really gonna have to check what you're about because I'm not you know I'm not just gonna put anybody in it if you're interested you could subscribe you could send me an email to um, um, my Facebook actually is good um, so just look for Mizonic M-E-Z-O-N-I-C send me an email through that or you know and I'll just check you out I might have to do a background check but we give our loans we give our loans all the time and that helps the next thing will be um, yeah so in a nutshell that's it uh, it has to start from the parents mentality they got to start encouraging the kids to become entrepreneurs because jobs are not all over the place like it used to be you know we have to bridge the gap with other black people from all parts of the world, Haiti, Jamaica, Africa, or the Caribbean, you know, just 
we have to mingle with these people and try to 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 learn their cultures and travel we have to all get our passports and, and travel to different places to establish business i mean you might think you don't have money but trust me in liberia somebody who wants to start a business might be thinking about starting it on a budget of three hundred dollars but you might have five grand or ten thousand dollars here and you think it's not enough and you could go over there and make triple your profit just because you made that connection with somebody else and, and travel overseas to do that the last thing i want to say for the day is I'm, I'm promoting my new album that i that i dropped um you know available for bookings if y'all want me to come speak i'll come speak to the kids if y'all want me I, this album is really for the youth but i mean anybody could rock to it really uh I try to not curse in my music. The whole album is curse free. I think I said one bad word. But you know, it, it is what it is. But um check out Inspire 2 and that's I N S P I R E 2 uh Redemption of the Ghettos Worldwide. I'm trying to get a uh, major distribution for it. So by the grace of God it's gonna be in stores like Inspire One was in stores and um check it out. It's your boy Mizonic M E Z O N I C Peace.